Cognitive storage is essentially a storage system that works like your brain. Uh, think about how your brain automatically assigns a high value when suppose you're on a vacation on, on a beautiful sunset or um, a, a, a nice uh, dinner that you had, uh, whereas it puts less value on other irrelevant things like printing a boarding pass or waiting at the queue or, or stopping at a traffic light and so on. A uh, cognitive storage system is essentially that, a storage data storage system that would know what is relevant to the user and what is not, and automatically determine storage policies that would optimize storage utilization for that user or a set of users. The inspiration of cognitive storage came to us uh, while working uh, on uh, DOME, the project that uh, IBM has started with Astron uh, in 2012. Uh, DOME is targeting uh, the uh, building blocks of the SKA, the Square Kilometer Array, that uh, is uh, going to be the most powerful uh, radio telescope ever built. This uh, radio telescope uh, is supposed uh, to uh, collect a uh, huge amount of data of the order of uh, uh, one petabyte per day. The biggest challenge of cognitive storage is the extraction of data value from the large amount uh, of data sets uh, that are found in a big data storage uh, system. Uh, for example, for a dome, uh, one uh, would have uh, to extract uh, uh, relevant information about uh, the origin and the structure of the universe for the astronomers uh, from uh, the large amount of in instrument noise that uh, will be found uh, in the signals collected by the thousand antenna elements. So far we tried to demonstrate uh, the cognitive storage concept using a small-scale um, server that uh, many of us in our research group use. We asked people to m label the files uh, according to the projects to which they belong. Uh, we used then the metadata to, to train uh, using a supervised uh, learning algorithm called Information Bottleneck. Uh, there were a total of 1.7 million files in the data set, uh, out of which one of the projects had only 150 files. Um, with less than 10% of the data used for training, we were already able to get uh, better than 80% accuracy in prediction, uh, even for the smallest class, which had only 150 files. The next step in our research uh, is to take cognitive storage to the next level, uh, to take the prediction, predictive caching work that we're doing in DOME, uh, make a larger scale uh, demonstration of the cognitive storage concept. Uh, we're trying to put together a proposal along with partners from around Europe uh, for, a, for a Horizon 2020 project. Um, we believe uh, that a large scale demonstration of this, this concept would uh, convince uh, that this is, this is something that is definitely useful uh, going forward and uh, has a lot of value to deliver.